You're definitely going to find my fire alarm system interesting today. I think it makes a pretty cool noise, which you'll hear in just a couple seconds. Right here for a pull station, we have an ADT 5060-S, double action pull station. For the notification appliance above the pull station, we have a Gentex Commander 3. And this Commander 3 is set on high volume chime. So it'll be making more of a quiet, relaxing tone. The horn strobe on the other side of the garage is another Gentex Commander 3. Only this Commander 3 is set on whoop tone. Whoop whoop! And what makes this system interesting is when the whoop and the chime sound at the same time. Hey, that rhymed. Both of the horns on the alarms are coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel, which basically means they will be sounding at the exact same time. And that's what creates that interesting sound you'll get to hear. Since both of the alarms are Gentex, I have wired in a Gentex sync module, model AVSMR. And this is placed in the fire alarm control panel, as you can see. And what this little module does is it will make sure that the strobes on the fire alarms will flash at the exact same time. So the horns will be flashing at the same time because they're coded by the panel and the strobes will be flashing at the exact same time because they're being coded by the sync module. So that's today's system. Without further ado, we will go ahead and pull the fire alarm. As you can see, this one says push then pull fire. So let's just follow the instructions. Push and then pull. Well, that kind of sounded interesting, didn't it? See, I told you. Anyways, we can go ahead and reset the pull station. It resets just like a simplex T-bar. I was thinking we could go ahead and re-alarm the fire alarms by testing one of the smoke detectors with actual fire. I don't think we'll test the one over there, simply because, as you can see, there's a lot of gasoline and stuff near there. So it would probably be wiser to test the smoke detector. Just to be totally clear, I absolutely do not recommend testing a smoke detector or smoke alarm with fire. That is very dangerous. I definitely recommend you get some canned smoke, such as smoke centurion. But for demonstration today, we're going to do it. So we'll simply light this piece of paper on fire, hold it next to the smoke detector, and blow it out. and blow it out. Now it's smoking and hopefully we can get it to activate. There we go. If we scroll on the fire alarm control panel, we can see that there are two alarms. One is the pulse station, and the other is the south smoke detector. We can go ahead and reset the fire alarm control panel, which will reinitialize that smoke detector and turn off all the strobes. If you're up for it, definitely rate 
comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought of that very unsafe burn demonstration. <laughs> and, have a great day everyone.